here being led to the post by Outrider Kathy Hawk. Number one is Princess Ballet, owned by David Arayhal of Mawa, New Jersey, trained by Virgil Morgan Jr. with Sound of Down's leading driver, Brett Miller. Number two is Sharp Trap Shooter, owned by Doug Meyer of Hilliard, Ohio, trained by Jeff Amon with Dan Ader. The three is Cass Arena, owned by Karen Seifert of Mount Sterling, Ohio, trained by John Tatum with Adam Rucker. The four is Townline Indy Power, owned by Timothy Lee of Springfield, Ohio, trained by Mike Lee with Dallas Miller. The five is Campus Shania, owned by Ron Salcedo of New Rochelle, New York, trained by Mitchell Nault with Dave Myers. The six is Snappy Willow, owned in partnership by Roy Murphy and Richard Stevens, both of the Buckeye State, trained by Roy Murphy, J.D. Perrin is up. The seven is Whiskey Blue, owned by John Fike of New Albany, Ohio, trained and driven by the K-Man, Kane Kaufman. The eight Snitch Cat, owned by Stanley Crow, Lebanon, Ohio, trained by Jonathan Crow, Kyle Ader. For the outside of the nine is Power Pench, owned by partnership by Rosemary Anders and Bob Harper, both of Ohio, trained by Bob Harper with Ryan Goldenhand Stahl. And for the second tier, number 10, Jetstream Magic, owned by James Wampora, Kettering, Ohio, trained by Joe Essig, Jeff Fout, Ian Hersonke. Field, Ian Motion. Being sent on their way. They're all fan pacing and driving through from the inside. There goes Sharp Trap Shooter, also with the rail Princess Ballet. Joining the fray there, Casarena. Four deep into the first turn, Whiskey Blue. Out there, five wide and driving on. Here comes Snitch Cat. And Snitch Cat is marching towards the top here. Sharp Trap Shooter will yield for that garden spot in two. Princess Ballet is away in third. Caught to the outside of there in fourth. That is Casarena from the second tier in fifth. That is Jetstream Magic. They race by the opening quarter and a quick 27 and one fifth on by the stands for the first time and heading on down to the half and on top of the field leading the way here that is snitch cat out there on the front leading it by length and a quarter for kyle waiter into the inside sharp trap shooter and dan Ader, father and son top two here into the clubhouse turn and they're racing in third that is prince's ballet outside in four that is cast arena fifth that is jet stream magic to the outside of there racing in six that is whiskey blue seventh along the inside town line indy power to the outside of there and eighth that is power Power Pinch. Ninth on the inside of that is Campus Shania and 10th and trailing the field after the early miscue. That is Snappy Willow. They're off the half in 57 and 2. They straighten up for their long journey down the back side, heading towards three quarters and on top. Snitch Cat and Kyle Waiter still there with a lead by length and a quarter. Into the inside, Sharp Trap Shooter is still there, tracking the leader in two. Outside there in third, that is Prince's Ballet who could not go with them. Inside in third, that's Jetstream Magic who slid through now to be three and sent up three wide there. Around that cover as they Race by three quarters and 127 flat. Here comes Power Pinch. They'll pace the final turn and head for home and on top of the field. Snitch Cat has got every call thus far. Into the inside, Sharp Trap Shooter is racing in two. Off the pylons, here comes Jetstream Magic to the top of the stretch. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come. And Phillies and Mares are coming from everywhere. And Town Line Indy Power is charging hard on the outside and sweeping by to win it here. Town Line Indy Power in front. Camper is to go second. The 10 Jetstream Magic was third at the time of the mile. 157, 1 Fev. Town line, Indy Power in a new lifetime mark. Mark and sporting the third win in 2004 here. It's the four town line, Indy Power, getting up in deep stretch. A thrill, Bay Valley by personal power out of a Cam Felomare, Indiana Cam, owned by Timothy Lee of Springfield, Ohio, trained by Mike Lee. Nicely handled here this evening by winning driver, Dallas Miller. The four town line, Indy Power, home and a winner in a new lifetime mark, 157 and 1 fifth at the hands of Dallas Miller. He is official, 4 5 10 official. The four town line, Indy Power at 20 to 1, returns 43 60, 1680, 660. Second, the five, Campus Shania, 27 60, 10 60. Third of the 10, Jetstream Magic, 420. The 4-5 exact is worth $480.60. Six on the one sprint Hanover. Here's the one sprint Hanover. Owned by Brent Davis of Zanesville, Ohio. Trained by R. Mac Davis with Brett Miller. The two is Pure Cadillac. Owned and trained by Deb Shrake and Loudonville, Ohio. Cow Waiter will drive. The three is Idle Acres Flight. Owned by George Casale of Farmingdale, New Jersey. Trained by Bernie Boland with Dallas Miller. The four is Tuscany Prince. Home of the Three Horsemen Stables Incorporated of Lexington, Kentucky, trained by David Stratton, Jeff Fount. The five and six are both out. The seven hard to get Elliot, owned by James Kidd of Newark, Ohio, trained and driven by Ryan Holton. 
Head for the outside of the eight is Carrie Rose, owned by Scott Rooks at Greenfield, Ohio, trained and driven by Keith Haynes, Ian Hersalke. Field in motion, break the two, pure Cadillac before the start. They're all fan trotting and firing away from the inside. There goes Idol Acres Flight also out there driving on. That's hard to get Elliot along with Kiria Rose. Away in for their sprint, Tanover next. They're in fifth. That is Tuscany Prince and sixth and trailing the field after the early miscue. That is pure Cadillac as they trot around the first turn and move towards the opening quarter and on top of the field. Hard to get Iliad and Ryan Holton out there on the front leading it by a length and a half. And the inside trotting into Idol Acres Flight. Flight trots there in second by the opening quarter in 29 and two fifths. Rushing on by the stands for the first time and heading on down to the half. And out pops Idle Acres Flight and Dallas driving on to the top here. Hard to get Elliot to yield for that garden spot there. Sprint hit over to the outside in third is charging up. Fourth there, that's Carrier Rose. Fifth is Toscany Prince and closing the gap in sixth. Steadily there, that is pure Cadillac as they trot around the clubhouse turn in front of the paddock and on over to the half. Sprint hit over is now clear to the frontier. Into the inside, Idle Acres flight trots in two shuffled in third hard to get Elliot three they're halfway home in just a minute flat inside in fourth that's Kiria Rose outside there in fifth Tuscany Prince begins the long chase to the outside in fifth now fourth and trailing the field but tipping to the outside and has caught the field here pure Cadillac stepping down the backside being led by Sprint Hanover on the front end here leading it by length and three parts into the inside Idaho Acres flight trots in second there the one Sprint Hanover is off the cones there just a little bit and as they trot towards three quarters sprint Hanover's angled right back along them three quarters and one thirty and one fifth uh, they'll drop the final turn and head for home and sprint Hanover with a lead tier and now to the outside uh, racing into you Tuscany Prince is closing with every single stride and bearing down on the leader here as they turn to the top of Power Alley less than an eighth of a mile to go and down the stretch they come sprint head over to the inside and to the outside Tuscany Prince hard to get Elliot up the inside Idaho Acres flight at the wire Tuscany Prince going away late. Finishing second, the one sprint Hanover. Third was the seven hard to get Elliot at the time of the mile. Two minutes and four fifths. Tuscany Prince in a new lifetime mark. The track side of the winner's circle, the official winner of the second race, timed at a new lifetime mark of two minutes and four fifths. For the second win in 2004, here's the four Tuscany Prince, a five year old bay getting by world champion Pine Chip out of an Ombro Gold Mare. Prado Princess, owned by the Three Horsemen Stables in Corbett in Lexington, Kentucky, trained by Dave Stratton, nicely handled here this evening by winning driver Jeff Fount. The four Tuscany Prince do lifetime mark two minutes, four fifths. Here's the field. The one is coupled Doodle Doo, owned by Don Huddleston and Jack Rice at Kingston, Ohio, trained by Dan Ader with Kyle Ader. The two is Jet Express, owned in partnership by Doug Parker of Canal Winchester, Ohio, and Harry Berger of Columbus, Ohio, trained by Doug Parker, Ryan Goldenhand Stall. The three is Know It Not, owned in partnership by Mark Huber of Westchester, Ohio, and Norma Huber of Lebanon, Ohio, trained by Randy Lee Owens, Aaron Merriman. The four is Polo Joe, owned by Sharma Kuchbach of Chillicothe, Ohio, trained by Jerry Kuchbach, the K-Man, Kane Kaufman. Number five is SpongeBob Square Pans, owned by the Peter Pan Stables Incorporated of Pepper Pike, Ohio, trained by Virgil Morgan Jr. Brett Miller is up. Number six, Find Your Dream, owned and trained by David Bowden Miller of Troy, Ohio, Jeff Fount. The seven is Sand Tatler, owned by Bill Sanders of Stevenson, Alabama, trained by Jeff Collins, Dave Myers. Well, the eight is CD's Boomer, owned by Everett Paul Crow of Eaton, Ohio, who also trains J.D. Perrin. For the outside of the nine, Let's Jet, owned by James and Judy Ferguson of Richwood, Ohio, trained by James Ferguson, Dallas Miller. And for the second tier, number 10, Earn a Chance, owned and trained by Lowell Prickett of Wilmington, Ohio, Adam Rucker, and the Sulky. That's the field for the third race, exact to trifecta wagering a field of... Field in motion. They're all fan pacing and firing away from the middle of the track. There go No It Not is headed out for command there. A bit rough gated as Polo Joe and the K-Man there. From the inside, Koppel Doodle Doo is coming away in third. The outside of there in fourth, CD's Boomer. Inside there in fifth, that is Jet Express. Sixth from the second tier, that's Erna Chance. Seventh is SpongeBob Square Pans. On oh, the inside, racing in eighth, that is Find Your Dream. And the two trailers here are Sand Tatler and Let's Jet can see them all. As they move by the opening quarter, the opening quarter,
game and went in 28 and 3 fifths and on by the stand for the first time and heading on down to the half and Polo Joe with a K man out there up top dictating the fractions leading it by length and a half and to the inside know it not has found the garden spot racing in two couple doodle do to the inside is in third CD's boomer found a seat in fourth outside of there in fifth here comes Jet Express who was flushed first over there by SpongeBob SquarePants second over the outside in sixth seventh of the rail that's earned a chance as they step around the clubhouse turn in front of the paddock and on over to the half trying to catch the cover flow there third over the outside at eight that's find your dream they're halfway home in just a minute flat uh, the two trailers remain sand tattler and let's jet off the turn of their long journey down the backside towards three quarters begins now on top of the field polo joe still there with less than three eighths of a mile to travel into the outside in second jet express is bearing down to the leader in two inside in third watching over the doing leaders that's no it not second over the outside in fourth that's spongebob square pants who's looming the danger boldly there three quarters and one 29 and two fifths backside 29 and two on to the front end we go and polo joe still there trying to make everett pull a winning one here swung up three wide of the outside spongebob square pants to the inside no it not as they turn to the top of power alley less than an eighth of them how to pace and they're on their way home driving through the lane on top polo joe with a lead here to the outside spongebob square pants is coming at him and coming on and spongebob square pants rolls right on by polo joe to go second couple doodle do to go third time with the mile 158 and one fifth the five spongebob square pants in a Struck first side career of the victory. Circle, first career victory here's the five spongebob square pants a two-year-old bay colt by the Panderosa out of a Cam Falamara, Cam Terry, owned by the Peter Pan Stables Incorporated of Pepper Pike, Ohio, trained by Virgil Morgan Jr. Nicely handled here this evening by the leading dash winning driver in all the North American side of downs leading driver, Mr. Brett Miller. First career victory of the five, SpongeBob Square Pans, 158 and 105. Here's the field. The one is Stars Mission, owned and trained by Doug Hunt of Troy, Ohio. Dallas Miller is up. Number two is Parson Brown, owned by Jerome Rainey of Portsmouth, Ohio, trained by Sandy Beatty, Kyle Wader. The three is Super Bandit, owned in partnership by Jerry Folk of Delaware, Ohio, and Connie Armstrong of Delaware, Ohio, trained by Jerry Folk with a K-man, Kane Kaufman. Number four is Sam Nelson, owned by Larry Cleland of Bainbridge, Ohio, trained and driven by Keith Haynes. To five is Vacation Creation, owned by Harry and Iris Horowitz of Brooklyn, New York, trained by Timmy Rucker, Debbie Rucker, the driver. Number six is Scotch Ridge, owned by Joseph Cole of Yorkville, Ohio, trained by Eric Nessel Road with Aaron Merriman. Number seven is Cindy Coy, owned by Larry Acker of Wooster, Ohio, trained by Ron Wagner with Dave Myers. Of the eight is Max Legacy, owned by Clarence Sonny DeLong of Orient, Ohio, trained by Daryl Hoosier with Adam Rucker. And for the outside of the nine is Daisy Chimp, owned with the three is a charm stable of West Orange, New Jersey, trained by Virgil Morgan Jr., Brett Miller, and her sulky. They're all fan trotting and firing away from the outside. There goes Max Legacy getting the first call, driving through in the middle of the track. Vacation creation from the inside. Sam Nelson, these three spar into the first turn. Away and forth, that is Stars Mission. Inside, angled in fifth, that is Parson Brown. Next there in sixth, that is Super Bandit. Followed there in seventh by Scotch Ridge. Eighth along the inside, that's Daisy Chimp. And off stride there, trailing the field, racing in ninth. That is Cindy Coy. Over to the opening quarter, they trot. The opening quarter comes and goes in 28 and four fifths and on by the stands for the first time and heading on down to the half and up top Max Legacy and Adam Rucker out there on the point leading it by length and a quarter into the inside Sam Nelson is right there in that garden spot nose to helmet in two angled off the pylons and sent first over the outside in third here comes vacation creation flushing that cover second over the outside in fourth Parson Brown pen at the pylons in fifth that is stars mission third over on the outside in sixth that is super banded on the inside racing in seventh there as they try 
strut towards the half. That is Scotch Ridge. Eighth along the inside as they trot off the half in 101 and 1 fifth. That is Daisy Chip and ninth and trailing Cindy Coy off the turn and driving down the backside. Heads are pointed towards three quarters and on top with the lead tier Max Legacy who led him through a leisurely half there. Leading it by a length and a quarter at 23 to 1. To the inside, Sam Nelson is still right there. Nose to helmet vacation creation outside. Trotting in third, first up at the Pylon Stars Mission. Trots in fourth, sent up three wide. Parson Brown to follow that move at Super Bandit. Three quarters and one thirty and three fifths. They'll trot the final turn and head for home. And Max Legacy still there, leading it by length. Angled off the pylon, Sam Nelson and sent up three wide. Here comes Stars Mission to the top of the stretch. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come. And Max Legacy is digging down deep here. Middle of the track, Sam Nelson, Stars Mission. Mission is charging hard, and Star's Mission zooms right on by. Sam Nelson to go second. Max Legacy was third at the time of the mile. Two minutes and a three fifth Star's Mission. The winner's circle, the official winner of the fourth race, timed in two minutes and three fifths. Here's the one Star's Mission for the second win in 2004. A 10 year old brown gelding by Peace Mission out of a Pony Express mare, Star's Expression. Owned and trained by Doug Hunt of Troy, Ohio. Nicely handled here this evening by winning driver Dallas Miller. On this evening's card, that's two wins for Dallas, giving him a driving double. here with the entry of the 1-1A one 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 wagering wager by head number and not post position. Drivers change of the four cam station, Adam Rucker. The one is road to wins from post position 7, owned by Mark Brummel of Trenton, New Jersey, trained and driven by Dan Ader. The 1A from post position 8 is King of Flirt, owned and trained by Dan Ader, Clarksburg, Ohio, with Kyle Ader. Number two from post position one, VC Jester, owned by Terry Ader and Carvel Simmons of the Buckeye State, trained by Brett Ader with a K-man, Kane Kaufman. The three is Jockey's Tornado from post position two, owned by Alice Kidd, 11 in Ohio, trained by Perry Lambert, Brett Miller. The four is Cam Sation from post position three, owned by the Three Horsemen Stables Incorporated of Lexington, Kentucky, trained by David Stratton with a driver's change to Adam Rucker. The five, good enough to dream from post position four. Owned by, owned and trained by Anthony Bergano, Borgonio, Ohio, with Ryan Goldenhand Stone. The six from post position five is Jenna's World, owned by Jane Cummins of Lexington, Kentucky, trained by Charles Beaver, Jeff Fount. Number seven from post position six is Sampson Three, owned by Equine Insurance Center of Liberty, North Carolina, trained by Calvin Holler with Keith Cash Jr. On the eight is Gryffindor, owned by the Sterling Brook Farms Incorporated of Sheldonville, Massachusetts, trained by Jim Ortlitz Jr., Dallas Miller from post nine, Gryffindor. And from post position 10 for the second tier, the nine, LD's Leo, owned by Walls and Broombaugh of Greenville, Ohio, trained by Bruce Walls, Aaron Merriman, Yam the Sulky. That's the field for the fifth race, the sixth leg of the Curly Smart, exact to trifecta. Field in motion. They're off and pacing and driving away from the outside. There goes Sampson three, getting the first call here, driving out for command. As they race into the first turn, Sampson three from the inside. VC Jester comes away in two. At the rail in third, that is Jockey's Tornado. Caught to the outside and angled at the pylons in fourth. Cam Zation next in line and fifth, good enough to dream. Sixth there, that is Jenna's World, who's wheeling to the outside. Seventh there, that is King of Flirt. Eight on the inside as they race over to the opening quarter. That is Road to wins. Ninth on the inside as they move by the opening quarter in 28 and 1 fab. On by the stands for the first time in Sampson 3 and Keith Cash Jr. out there on the point leading it by length and a quarter and now rushing over the outside. Here's Jenna's World and Jenna's World with a front side bull rush to the front end here as they step around the clubhouse turn in front of the paddock and on over to the half. On top Jenna's World is clear to the frontier. Sampson 3 is right there in the inside racing in two with separation of three. Racing in third that is VC Jess 
Foster. Uh, they're halfway home, 57 seconds flat. Off the turn and driving down the back side of the inside and fourth. Jockeys Tornado at the rail in fifth. Cam Seishen, sixth along the rail, good enough to dream. Seven to the outside, LD's Leo. Eighth on the inside, that is King of Flirt. To the outside of there in ninth, road to wins and tenth and trailing Gryffindor. Uh, they're stepping towards three quarters and on top of the field, Jenna's World, the two year old son of world champion Jenna's Beach Boy is going to take him to three quarters and one, 26 and four fifths. Backside, 29 and four. On to the front end we go here. On top of the field, Jenna's World to the outside, bearing down. That is Jockey's Tornado. These two are dueling to the top of the stretch. Sampson three is looking for racing room. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come with a curly smart. On top, Jenna's World to the outside. That's Jockey's Tornado up the inside. Here's Sampson three and Sampson three has made the untimeliest of breaks there. Gryffindor comes on for a second. Jenna's World 156 and two fifths. Jenna's World. Stepping track side of the winner circle, the unofficial winner of the fifth race, the sixth leg of the curly smart. Home winner at 156 and two fifths for the third win in just four career starts. Here's the six, Jenna's World. A two-year-old bay called by world champion Jenna's Beach Boy out of a no nukes mare, Forbidden Panet. Owned by Jane Cummins in Lexington, Kentucky. Trained by Charles Beaver. Nicely handled here this evening by winning driver Jeff Fount. The six, Jenna's World. Home order in 156 and two. And for driver Jeff Fount, that's two wins on this evening's card, giving him a driving double. Please note the inquiry sign has been withdrawn from the stewards. The stewards have withdrawn. The inquiry sign 683 remains unofficial. It's now official, 683 official, the 6th Jenna's World, 242, 20, 240. Second, the 8th Gryffindor, returning 584, 40. Third of the three, Jockeys Tornado, 560. The 6-8 exact is worth $43 even. While Number one is Backlash Hanover, owned by Amy Nicholson of Wooster, Ohio, trained by Jonathan Wingard, Kyle Ader. Number two is Autocrat, owned by the Charter Oak Stable of Aiken, South Carolina, trained and driven by Jimmy Laurent. Number three is C. Shaw, home of the Steiner Stock Farm in Lima, Ohio, trained and driven by Marty Willem. Number four is Satori Hanover, home of the Sterling Brook Farms, incorporated at Sheldonville, Massachusetts, trained by Jim Artlitz Jr., Dallas Miller. The five is Red Hot Message, owned by Scott Rooks of Greenfield, Ohio, trained and driven by Keith Haynes. The six is Saute T. Owned by Wellman, Milhone of Delaware, Ohio, and Todd of Florida. Trained and driven by Terry Milhone. Into the outside of the seven is What Club Should I Hit? Home of the Parkview Stables of Pittsburgh, Ohio. Trained by Greg Broombaugh, the K-Man, Kane Kaufman, Ian the Sulky. That's the field for the sixth range. As summons for the sixth race, the first division of the seventh leg of the Dick Buxton Trot. A field of seven. Turn and head towards the wings of the starting gate. It's post time. Field in motion. Being sent on their way. They're off and trotting and firing away from the outside. There goes, what club should I hit? Right alongside Sante T. These two tussle into the first turn. Away in third, that is a red hot message. Next in fourth, Otto Kratt got to the outside and driving on in fifth, Satori Hanover. Sixth from the rail, that is Backlash Hanover in seventh and trailing the field. That is Shee Shaw. As they step around the first turn and over to the opening quarter and up top, off stride went the six, Sante T and the seven, what club should I hit is also off stride. As they mark by the opening quarter in 28 and 3 fifths. On by the stands for the first time and heading on down to the half and up top now with the lead here. On top of the field, that's Satori Hinover driving onto the top here. Red Hot Message is now yielded for a garden spot in two. Sate T to the outside, back down, trotting in third. Fourth along the inside, Otto Kratt. Fifth, that is Backlash Hinover who angles off the pylons there. Sixth is Shishan. Seventh in trailing the field, back down, trotting. What club should I hit? Around the clubhouse turn they go in front of the paddock and on over to the half. And they reach the half in 58 and four fifths. A second panel there at 30 and one. Off the turn and driving down the back side. Their long journey towards three quarters has begun. And up top, Satori Hanover continues to carve out the fractions here for Dallas, leading it by length and a quarter. Into the inside, a red hot message is trotting in two over the outside of there. Swung up three wide. Backlash Hanover continues to close on the leaders here. As they race towards three quarters, Satori Hanover's being asked for more. Into the inside, a red hot message 
Bridge trots into Backlash Hanover trotting to the outside in third three quarters and one 29 flat they'll drop the final turn and head for home and Satori Hanover and Dallas is still sitting chilly there with a whip over his shoulder leading it by a length and a half to the outside Backlash Hanover in two along the inside Red Hot Message in third Autocrat has swung three high Shishan fourth as they drive through Power Alley on top Satori Hanover the lead tier to the outside Autocrat is closing Shisha up the inside but this is Satori Hanover in front. Going to be very tight there for a second between the three Sisha and the two Autocrat. The time of the mile is 159 and two fifths. Satori Hanover. We're home a winner at 159 and two fifths. Here's the four Satori Hanover. A three year old daughter, Lindy Lane, out of a Garland Low Bell mare. So's Ninja. Um, with the Sterling Brook Farms Incorporated of Sheltonville, Massachusetts. Trained by Jim Artledge Jr. Nicely handled here this evening by winning driver Dallas Miller. And for Dallas, that's three wins on this evening's card, giving him a driving triple. The four Satori Hanover. Home a winner at 159, two fans. They're only pick three, three of three, 164 is worth $34.40. Here are the parading pacers. The one is Holland Cass. The lessee is Robert Key in Leechburg, Pennsylvania. Trained by Jim Ortledge Jr. with Ryan Goldenhand Stone. Number two is Perfect Ben. Home by Craig Langston of Sydney, Ohio. Trained by David Bodenmiller, Jeff Fount. The three is Super MJ. Owned and trained by Robert Wallace, Dick Lever, Ben, Ohio. J.D. Perrin is up. The four is Stringtowner, owned in partnership by Rhonda Stidham of Circleville, Ohio, and Linda May in Naples, Florida, trained and driven by Jeff Collins. The five is Meadowland Bud, owned and trained by Mike Metters of Reynoldsburg, Ohio, Aaron Merriman. The six is Super Sunny, owned by Elizabeth Revelio of Huber Heights, Ohio, trained by Randy Lee Owens with Kyle Eder. The seven is Captain Fantastic, owned by Stanley Swango III of Waynesville, Ohio, trained by Jim Artledge, the K-Man, Kane Kaufman. The eight is a Midnight Mover, owned by Neil and Alvin Long of the Buckeye State, trained by Alvin Long, Dallas Miller. The outside of the nine go Bobby G, owned by Richard Elwood of Lancaster, Ohio, trained by Rick Cartman, Dave Myers. And for the second tier, number 10, Pananza, owned by the Peter Pan Stables Incorporated of Pepper Pike, Ohio, trained by Virgil Morgan Jr., Brett Miller, and the Sulky. Field in motion. Being sent on their way. They're all fan pacing and firing away from the outside. There goes Captain Fantastic. This one was up on the bit, so the K Man rolls this one straight out for command. Super MJ for the inside has come away into it. The rail Holland Cass is third. Outside and four, that is Meadowland Bud looking to drive on there. Fifth on the inside, Perfect Ben. Sixth from the second tier, Pananza. Seventh on the inside, String Tatter. Followed in eighth by Super Sunny. And the two trailers here are a Midnight Mover and Go Bobby. G. The opening quarter came and went in 29 seconds flat and on by the stands for the first time and heading on down to the half. Up top, Captain Fantastic. And to the outside, Meadowland Bud is looking to forge on to the frontier and Meadowland Bud is being pressed on. Leading it now by length and a half two as they enter the clubhouse turn in front of the paddock and on over the half they roll. Meadowland Bud is clear to the top here. Captain Fantastic is racing in two. Super MJ at the rail is racing in third. Along the pylons, Holland Cass is fourth. They're halfway home. 58 and one fifth off the turn of their long journey down the back side towards three quarters begins now down the back side on top Meadowland Bud still there leading it by a length and a half into the inside Captain Fantastic is racing into a gap of a length there in third Super MJ off the pylons in fourth Holland Cass inside and locked in in fifth string Towner outside second over in sixth that's perfect Ben sent up three wide in seventh Pananza inside in eighth that is Super Sunny the two trailers go Bobby G and a midnight mover. Three quarters was stepped off in 127 and one fifth. Backside, 29 seconds flat. They'll pace the final turn and head for home and on top. Meadowland Bud with a lead tier and leading it by two to the top of the stretch. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And 
down the stretch they come and Meadowland Bud with a lead here. Captain Fantastic is getting no closer. This is Meadowland Bud here and he's going away late. Meadowland Bud edging away just in front of the toot board. Captain Fantastic to go second. String Towner was third at the time of the mile. 156, two fifths. Meadowland Bud in a new lifetime mark his career. Here's the five Meadowland Bud. A three old bay going by firm belief out of a noble land Sam Mayer. Jamie Marie Top owned and trained by Mike Metters of Reynoldsburg, Ohio. Nicely handled to you this evening by winning driver. Aaron Merriman. The five Meadowland Bud home winner, 156, two fifths, new lifetime mark at the hands of Aaron Merriman. It's official, 574 official. The five Meadowland Bud returns 360, 260, 280. Second of the seven, Captain Fantastic, 520, 480. Third of the four, String Towner returning 340. Five seven exact is worth $27 even, while the 574 try is worth $720.40. The Dick Buxton trot at one mile a purse at $3,500. Exact uh, trifecta late pick three. Wagering begins here. A field of seven. There are no changes. No changes in the late pick three. Races eight, nine, and ten. The one is Seaworthy. Owned and trained by Titus Schleybaugh. Sugar Creek, Ohio. Aaron Merriman is up. Number two is Rose Corsage. Owned by Daryl Sherman of Elmore, Ohio. Trained by Kent Sherman with Brett Miller, the pilot. The three is Striking Ray, owned by Hall of Famer Robert Sidley of Painesville, Ohio, trained and driven by Marty Wollum. The four is Call Me Hazel, owned in partnership by Sharon Hedworth Adams and Harold King. They're both of the Buckeye State, trained by Tom Adams, Jeff Fount, the Rainsman. The five is Pine Hill Jewel, owned by Joyce Slaughter, the big city of Newark, Ohio, trained by Richard Slaughter with Ryan Holton. The six is Montauk Point, Owned by Tom York, Jr. of the big city of Newark, Ohio as well. Trained by Jim Artledge, Jr., Dallas Miller. And for the outside of the Seven American Challenge, owned by Umholtz Racing Stable Incorporated in Northfield, Ohio. Trained by Claire Umholtz, Ryan Goldenhand Stahl, and the Sulky. Field in motion. Off stride went the seven American challenge. They're off and trotting and firing away. Mid pack striking Ray gets the first call from the inside. See where they comes away trotting in two. Inside in third, Rose Corsage is angled to the pylons there. Fourth, that is Call Me Hazel. Inside racing in fifth, Pine Hill Jewel drives through to be five. Outside in six, Montauk Point and seventh in trailing the field. Still off stride, American challenge as they wheel around the first turn and over to the opening quarter, being led by striking Ray and Marty Wallow on the front end here. Leading over to the opening quarter. The opening quarter comes and goes in 28 and 4 fives. On by the stands for the first time and heading on down to the half. On top of the field, striking Ray, leading it here up top here on the point, leading it by length and a quarter. Into the inside, see where they is tracking right there in that garden spot in two. Rose Corsage still trots in third. Call me Hazel has tipped off the pylons in fourth. Outside in fifth, Montauk Point. Sixth, that is Pine Hill Jewel on a ground saving journey there in seventh and trailing American Challenge. As they step around that clubhouse turn and front of the panic and on over to the half. They reach the half here, 59 and two fifths. Off the turn and driving down the backside. Heads are pointed towards three quarters, being led by striking Ray. On the front still, leading it by a length and a quarter. Out of the outside, Rose Corsage is now grinding it out. First over the outside, racing in two with less than three eighths of a mile to travel. Inside in third, that is Seaworthy under a big snug hold from Merriman, trotting in third. Fourth to the outside, perfectly placed. Second over and fourth, Call Me Hazel. At the pylons in fifth, Pine Hill Jewel, sixth is Montauk Point, seventh and trailing American Challenge, three quarters and one, 28 and two fifths. Off stride went the three, striking Ray and inheriting the lead here. That's Rose Corsage to the outside in second. Call me Hazel. Seaworthy is desperately looking for racing room and fan three high. Pine Hill Jewel to the top of the stretch. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come and out the outside. Here's Pine Hill Jewel who is charging hard to the outside. Pine Hill Jewel Seaworthy on the inside as they hit the wire too close to call input them can't split them 158 three fifths photo for a win five one two four is unofficial five one two unofficial
Stepping trackside of the winner's circle, here she is taking the second division of the seventh leg of the Dick Buxton Trot in 158 and three fifths for the sixth win in 2004 and two in a row here at Santa Downs. The five Pine Hill Jewel getting up in deep stretch here. A three old bay filling by Westgate Crown out of a Florida Pro Mare professional lover. Owned by Joyce Slaughter, the big city of Newark, Ohio. Trained by Richard Slaughter. Nicely handled here this evening by winning driver Ryan Houghton. The five Pine Hill Jewel and Ryan Houghton home in 158 three fifths. Number one is Cameron Poe, owned and trained by George Anthrop of Marshall, Michigan, with Brett Miller. The two is Jasper Willow, owned and trained by John Nelson, parent 11 in Ohio, J.D. Perrin, the Rainsman. The three is Cedar Lawn Trace, owned by William Young of Grove City, Ohio, trained and driven by Terry Groves. The four is Jade Starr, owned and trained by Donald Miller of West Jefferson, Ohio, Dallas Miller is up. The five is Famous Flyer, owned by Karen Seifert of Mount Sterling, Ohio, trained by John Tatum, Aaron Merriman. The six is Falkirk, owned by Ron Cheryl of Dayton, Ohio, trained by David Lowe, Jeff Fount. The seven Torpedo, owned by Roger Bartley and Roger Bartley Jr. of Lockbourne, Ohio, trained by Roger Bartley, Brandon Bartley, the driver. Well, the eight is Henry B., owned in... Partnership by Randy and Nicole Hawkins of Old Washington, Ohio. Trained by Randy Hawkins with Adam Rucker. For the outside of the nine is Warrowy Blue. Owned by Keely Moore of Minden, Ohio. Trained by Roy Murphy, Ryan Golden Handstall. And for the second tier of the ten, Rock's Big Boy. Owned by Michelle Omer of Galloway, Ohio. Trained by Bradley Omer, the K-Man, Kane Kaufman, and the Sulky. This field is in motion. They're all fan pacing and firing away from the outside of the racetrack. Now to the middle, Famous Flyer gets the first call. Also on the go, Falkirk driving up on the outside of there. That's Warrawee Blue. These three tussle into the first turn. Cameron Poe along the inside is watching over these three leaders from fourth. Outside there in fifth, Torpedo looks to be parked there. Inside racing in sixth from the second tier. That is Rock's Big Boy. Seventh along the inside, Jasper Willow. Eighth there, that is Cedar Lawn Trace. And the two trailers here as they step by that open putting quarter mile mark of the race. Well, the two trailers here racing in ninth as Jade Star in 10th and trailing Warwy Blue. The opening quarter came and went in 28 seconds flat and on by the stand for the first time and heading on down to the half and on top. Driving to the top, Warwy Blue rolls right on here to take the lead. Out pops the five famous flyer to the outside of there. That's Torpedo as they step around the clubhouse turn in front of the paddock and on over to the half. On top of the field clearing to the frontier. That's famous flyer and it's a royal tussle up top here. They're halfway home, 50. 57 and four fifths. A royal scramble for command continues here. Off the turn and driving down the backside. Heads are pointed towards three quarters. Famous Flyer and Aaron Merriman to the top. Less than three eighths of a mile to travel. Torpedo's been parked every step of the mile to the outside. Racing in two along the inside. Warwee Blue racing in third. Looming the danger. Cameron Poe is off the pylons. Perfectly placed. Second over the outside in fourth. Fifth to the outside. Cedar Lawn Trace. Three quarters and one twenty seven and three fifths. Backside 29 and 4 on top. Famous Flyers trying to get away here. Off stride went the one Cameron Poe as they turn to the top of the stretch. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come. Famous Flyer up top here and he's drawing clear by better than four. And looking for more. Famous Flyer is drawing clear here within the final 16th. Famous Flyer in front. Getting up for second here, the 10, Rocks Big Boy. Third was the 9, Warrawee Blue. The time of the mile, 157, one fifth. Famous Flyer. Miss Flyer. An eight-year-old chestnut horse by Falcon Almahurst and an Albatross mare. Looking fine. Owned by Karen Seaver to Mount Sterling, Ohio. Trained by John Tatum. Nicely handled here this evening by winning driver Aaron Merriman. 
That's two wins on this evening's card for Aaron, giving him a driving double as he steers the five famous flyer home in a new lifetime mark, 157 and one in return, 760 $484. Second to 10, Rocks Big Boy returning $1728. Third to the nine, Warrawee Blue, $5 even. 510 exact to $79. Well, the 5109 try is worth The one is Sharp Gizmo, owned and trained by Tommy Cecil Clemens of Waverly, Ohio. Aaron Merriman is up. Number two is Rider to the Stars, owned and trained by Ron Barker of Chillicothe, Ohio. Cow Eater. The three is Caleb Special, owned by Pearl Warren Paver of Marysville, Ohio. Trained by Joe Paver with J.D. Perrin. Number four is Whip Smart, owned in partnership by Mullen and Morgan of the Bluegrass State. Trained by Glenn Collins, Ryan Goldenhand Stall. The five is Hootie Figgins, owned by Clarence. You can call me Sonny DeLong of Orient, Ohio, trained by Daryl Hoosier with Adam Rucker. Number six is Keno Joe, owned and trained by Harry Alltop of Urban, Ohio, Dallas Miller is on. Number seven, Flaming Rocky, owned by Jason Barton of Lebanon, Ohio, trained and driven by the K-Man, Kane Kaufman. Of the eight is Ranchwood Francis, owned by John Cummings of Caledonia, Ohio, trained by James Larrabee with Keith Cash, Jr. The nine is Cole Chomar, owned in partnership by Neil and Alvin Long of Ohio, trained by Alvin Long, Brett Miller. And for the second tier, number 10, Nancy's Buddy, owned by Kevin Clark of Centerville, Ohio, trained by Robert Zink, Jeff Fout, and the Sulky. Shit. Bang, sent on their way. They're all fan pacing and driving away from the outside. There goes Flaming Rocky, also on the go from the middle of the track. That's Hootie Figgins from the inside. Whip smart. These three tussle into the first turn. Away and forth from the rail. That is Sharp Gizmo looking to angle in. Racing in five. That is Ryder to the start. On the inside from the second tier in six. That is Nancy's buddy just ahead of there in seventh. Caleb Special. Eighth and skimming the pylons. Kino Joe and the two trailers here. Ranchwood, Francis, and Cole Tomar can see them all as they race by the opening quarter in a moderate 29 seconds flat. On by the stands for the first time and heading on down to the half and the K-Man's up top with Flaming Rocky here, leading it by length and a half. Into the inside, Hootie Figgins is racing in two, watching over this leader. Inside racing in third, that is Whip Smart. Racing fourth there along the inside, that is Sharp Gizmo. Sharp Gizmo racing in fourth, outside in fifth, Nancy's buddy. Inside racing in sixth there, right into the stars as they step around the clubhouse turn in front of the paddock and on over to the half. On top of the field leading the way flaming rocky took him to the half 59 and three fifths a second quarter there at 30 and three off the turn and driving down the back side heads are pointed towards three quarters and on top flaming rocky the k-man still on the point here leading it by like the half less than three eighths of a mile to travel into the inside hootie figgins is stalking into at the rail whip smart begins to look for racing room in third but he's locked in as the 10 nancy's buddy is first up on the outside racing in fourth buried at the rail in five sharp gizmo Second over the outside in six there. Keno Joe, three quarters and one, 29 flat. They'll pace the final turn and head for home. And Flaming Rocky is trying to make every pull a winning one, leading it by a length and a half. Into the inside, Hootie Figgins is trying to go with them to the top of the stretch. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come with a super effective finale. Flaming Rocky with a lead here. Hootie Figgins to the inside. The K-Man goes to knocking while Rucker goes to rocking. This is Hootie Figgins getting up to win it. Flaming Rocky to go second. Whip Smart was third. The four, one. Sharp Gizmo was fourth. The time of the mile, 158 and one. The five, Hootie Figgins equals his lifetime best. It's official, five, seven, four, one. Official. Well, stepping track side of the winner's circle, taking the 10th and final race in 158-1, equaling his lifetime best. Here's the five Hootie Figgins, a four-year-old bay getting by Park Place out of a log marriage to make Lita. Oh, by Clarence, you can call me Sonny DeLong of Orient, Ohio, trained by Daryl Hoosier. Nicely handled to you this evening by winning driver Adam Rucker. The five, Hootie Figgins, 158 and one fifth. Home a winner, equaling the lifetime best, returning 360, $3, 240. Second to seven, Flaming Rocky, 380, $3. Third to the four, Whip Smart, 280. The one was fourth. Five, seven, exact to 1620. Five, seven, four, trial. Get back to that. Late double, pair of fives, $34 even. Late pick three, five, five, five. 
triple five seventy two forty. Five seven four try fifty five twenty five seven four one super four eighty seven sixty. 